Hey everybody. Uh, I think there are eight people waiting and thank you so much. Uh, this is an, an impromptu quick live stream from the former capital of Illinois. As you know, I've been hiding out for a few days in the Midwest. I hope you can hear me. I don't have a microphone and I am right in the middle of town. This is the state house, the former state house of the state of Illinois. And from 19, uh, excuse me, from 1836 to 18, from 1836 to 1839, only three years, this was the capital of Illinois. And none other than Abraham Lincoln was involved in his, uh, well, there were nine men uh, who were members of the Whig party. Uh, I guess it was a party at the time and they orchestrated the move of the, hi Nancy, uh, Nancy, please uh, see my message. I really want to come and visit you before I leave the area. So please send me a, um, a message somehow uh, through uh, my website contact page or any social media. And I really don't want to leave the area without seeing your garden. Hey, Daryl, I just called you. <laughs> okay, good. Um, th thank you. So as you know, if you're following me, you know that I have very limited access to Wi-Fi. I don't, I'm not on Wi-Fi now. I'm at the state house and I'm, I'm working off of a, just a telephone signal. And I thought maybe I could get a stronger signal here than uh, where I'm staying. And also, uh, this, is, this is a lot of history right here. Isn't it a beautiful place? And of course, it's only open right now. It's, I don't even know if they're doing tours right now. There's so many things closed because of the virus. And um, I get pretty sad actually uh, traveling through here because I see a lot of uh, small businesses that have closed. Um, they look like they've been clo they're closed permanently. And um, other observations, there are cornfields, miles and miles and miles and miles of cornfields everywhere. Hi, An Jay Andre. And um, of course, y you know, I'm all about organic uh, agriculture. And when I see miles and miles and miles of perfect rows and perfect stalks of corn, so packed close together and no weeds, no weeds. <laughs> you know what that means. And uh, I, I know that, you know, uh, I don't want to get into the politics of agriculture, but um, y you know that chemicals are involved if you have something that looks that perfect. Now, if you remember way back in my first season, hi, Carl, it's so good to hear from you. Yeah, I know. Uh, in my first year of uh, late bloomer, I went and visited Tim. Uh, yes, yes, it's right there, Nancy. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> it's right there. I don't know if you can see it. I'm think I'm almost pointing at it. I think right. Wait, where is it? Um, let's see. It's directly behind me. Right there is the Prairie Woman statue. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to be on for very long because, of course, I did not plug my phone into the car as we were driving over here. Hi, Patricia. Uh, I just wanted to have a quick check in and say hi to everybody. I am alive and well. I am um, uh, Blink Park. Hi. Um, we can walk over there and see that statue, in fact. Uh, We'll see if I lose you connectivity. I've been sitting here for a while. Oh, I got stiff sitting there uh, waiting. The public restrooms are closed because of the virus. Uh, just FYI, in case you're over here, I'm hobbling along. Here is the flagpole. This is actually a very beautiful old town, but um, I was taking a few pictures and, you know, the movie theater is all shuttered and you know 
abandoned. It looks abandoned. And many of the small towns um, in the Midwest, certainly in uh, Southern Illinois, have been uh, economically impacted by factories closing and things. So let's, woo, that sun is bright. Let's get a look at this. Um, uh, we will do, hold on, we'll do this. And we'll check out the statue. Daughters of the American Revolution, pioneer women of the covered wagon days. And the whole, actually the whole square is beautiful. Look at that. I'll just give you a overview. So that's really pretty and it looks like there's some sort of little um, park across the street that they made into Lincoln Park. Oh, I've got to show you this picture of Lincoln. He was 27 years old when they, he started this process as a young legislator uh, here and there are no photographs uh, of Lincoln during those that period and the first photograph is on oh no it's not here let's see this is uh this is lincoln during his uh presidency but down here you can see the uh hold on you can see the sign And over here, there's this really cool picture. Well, it's actually a painting, I guess. They made a painting or a lithograph because back in those days they didn't do so many photographs. But here's a painting of the men, this being the young Lincoln. Look how dashing he was. And they were all, let's see, seven representatives and two senators were all six feet or taller. Five were lawyers, three farmers, and one an innkeeper. And Abe was the youngest of the group. Here they are, sitting around, sipping a little bit of sherry or something, drinking a toast. And here is... Here's his campaign photo. Uh, let's see. Where did it say this? No photograph of Lincoln exists from the Vandalia years. Alexander Hessler took this in 1857 during his senatorial campaign. Can you imagine? Having a photograph made with your hair looking like a raccoon had just like slept in it and wrestled around. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here, <laughs> here's a painting and he's, he's much uh, more together. They all look like they've been styled, but this is the real thing. This is how he really looked. <laughs> anyway. I just wanted to check in. Uh, I'm probably going to lose uh, power. <laughs> I am doing fine. My mother, uh, actually, as you know, my, I, I came, I left for an indeterminate amount of time because my mother had been moved to hospice, which was the only reason we were allowed to see her. And the caregivers that were working with her just believed that once she was able to see family, she started eating again. And, uh, and she is still able to 
get up and with assistance go to the restroom and and sit up and eat and so forth so I was there for three weeks and each day she just seemed to get more clear-headed and and so I thought well I I uh, I'm staying in this place and uh, it's, it's costing a bunch of money and so I decided to just take a week off and I'm either gonna go back to California for a couple of weeks and come back or uh, I'm gonna go down there for a week and then go to Cal I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, if you can believe the news, <laughs> uh, California has more and more and more cases of the virus, so it's not such a great idea uh, to go out there, but all my stuff is there. Oh, and by the way, a little update on Lyndon. She is having a problem. I had to take her to the vet and uh, so I, I don't know what's going to happen with that. Uh, thank you, Nancy. Uh, but the good news is I was able to transform an existing... So, uh, my friend planted a garden, uh, didn't have time to work on it. And uh, of course the weather here, one minute it is hot and sunny and 90 and it feels like 105 and then the next minute is torrential downpours and lightning. <laughs> I'm not used to that in LA. Hey Rachel! And uh, at any rate, for three straight days I filmed and I transformed this garden bed, which I guess is about 8 by 10 maybe, something like that, feet. And there were at least nine tomato plants and maybe six or seven pepper plants. There was some cabbage. Uh, the cabbage had serious bug damage, but I left them because they looked like a nice entrance into the bed. And I, I just, tra it just, it was all completely overgrown. The, the bamboo trellises had collapsed and I transformed this. I thought I could do it in a day. It took three days. <laughs> because you've got to take breaks when it's 100 degrees. I mean, who knew? Anyway, you can't <laughs> you can't work outside in that kind of temperature. You know, at one point I thought, am I going to have heat stroke? You know, I don't know what that's like, so I better get in, inside. One seat away from harvest. Hey there. And so that you have to look forward to. I hope you've had a chance to watch today's video. I really need your support watching my videos uh, while I'm gone especially. And uh, I uploaded the very last photo, uh, the very last video that I shot before I left, which was preparing my garden to be gone for a while. Oh, oh, Teresa, right, right. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. You're going to have to remind me over and over of the name. Uh, she changed her name. Anyway, uh, so the very next video you're going to see will be the tra the part one of the transfer, part one of the transformation of this garden bed and I can't wait to bring that to you. It's really pretty and and I'm excited about that. And so <laughs> thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll, uh, uh, there's just 26 of you but I really appreciate you tuning in. You didn't really know if, if I'd be going on live and I didn't either because I didn't know if I could find a spot but I found a really beautiful spot and right in the heart of the country and uh, that has very historic significance and I just want you to stay safe, stay well, do your research, uh, just take care of yourselves and grow your own food if you can and if you can't encourage someone else to and I will see you as soon as I can hopefully on Sunday morning at uh, let's see it would be if I'm here it'll be 10 a.m. Central Time. Hello from South Florida. Oh great. So uh, please watch today's video and then look forward to the next one. Thank you Patricia. And um, I didn't get to see Patricia when I was in Nashville but uh, I hope to very soon. There are a lot of restrictions. Nashville is really hard hit with the virus and there are it's mandatory masks and all that. <clears throat> and um, we do have to be mindful of our of our friends and neighbors who uh, have immune are immune compromised. So, with that, I will just say thank you so much for your support, and I look forward to seeing you as soon as I can. 
maybe I'll do a surprise uh, live stream. I don't know. Just uh, stay tuned to my channel. Make sure you hit the bell for notifications, like the videos, share them, and um, God bless you and take care of yourselves. And I'll see you later.